Want to help the channel? Go to shopclownfish.com where you can check out official Clownfish TV merchandise and our brand new shop. It helps us out. Also, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash clownfish TV for more art and gaming live streams that we don't do on YouTube. We want to see you over there as well. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the topic of this video is going to be comparing Japanese characters, Japanese heroes to American superheroes, or at least the trend in modern American superhero recent comics. Recent comics. Recent comics. And talking about how popular Japanese hero characters, manga characters, anime characters have to work for it. Right. They have to work for it. They have to work at being a hero. They're not just handed something. And even when they are handed a mantle, like My Hero Academia, they still have to work their asses off. Right, they aren't just automatically good at it. Um, so this is something we have talked about a lot ourselves back and forth. And uh, I, I think it's actually part of the appeal of anime and manga mm -hmm. with young people now versus American superhero comics, which lately have gotten very lazy and just been like, well, so-and-so just showed up and so-and-so wanted to pass their powers on or their man, so they just gave it to them. The one thing I liked about the, the Captain America movie was that, you know, they showed him being rejected. Mm -hmm. Steve Rogers, that he actually jumped on the grenade because he thought it was live and it wasn't. So it was like, yeah, he did get his powers handed to him, but he had to earn the chance to have it, you know what I mean? And yeah. he still could have died, they didn't know. So I, I did like that. But yeah, a lot of times you just see, okay, well we were tired of this this character being white and male, so now all of a sudden a female character is gonna show up and just get the powers because she can't. Well, I wanna talk about that because this sort of led to a crash in, I believe, in uh, you know superhero comics in you know, 2015, 2017, when Marvel got the brilliant idea to just replace all of its core characters at the height of the popularity of the MCU. Right. So they, they were showcasing, advertising the, the main Avengers, but then they decided they were going to swap out most of the Avengers for other characters. Mostly women. Mostly, I'm yeah. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, who basically just showed up. They just kind of showed up. They were new characters that were introduced, and they got the mantle. And there wasn't a whole lot of uh, having to work for it, you know, and... and there is a huge difference between the Japanese attitude and the American attitude when it comes to characters. And it seems like the Japanese characters, and I have this is why I have hope for kids today, the, the Zoomers, the Japanese characters with their their work ethic are resonating more with right. younger people. I mean, let's look at the sales of, of Demon Slayer. Because, well, we got a whole generation who thinks everything should just be handed to them because they're there. Yeah. Well, um, we see it with the creators, too. I know. Yeah. They, they, we do. We see uh, American comics creators are basically like, well, I'm here. Uh, I get to be on X-Men now. I get to be on Spider-Man now. Yeah. I just showed up. But I'm the right kind of but person. But I'm the right person with the right friends. So here I am. Give it to, and when, and th they do. They give it to them when they have no experience or no reason to trust them. And then they ruin it. And we see it time and time again. Um, there's no other reason they should just be given it. I'm, I'm going to say it flat out. She-Ra. Uh, yeah, Noelle Stevenson did her own comics. And she was a part of a team. She didn't invent Lumberjanes. Somebody else did. She was part of a team on Lumberjanes. And she did a couple of couple helped work on a couple episodes of some disney shows that was her experience and then they made her a showrunner because of it and they Did gave she, her classic ip that she wasn't right. alive when it was was she know. qualified to be a showrunner no but they let her do it anyway you yeah. know she didn't actually earn it but they let her do it you know we see this all the time with people in comics and in in television and movies especially now because they had to have the right kind of voice have the right kind of person the right kind of check boxes yeah yeah, and it's it's um it's hurting the American comic book industry. I mean, we're we're seeing you know you're very lucky if you can see an American comic uh, top a hundred thousand shipped units, and of course now it's gonna be lower because of the shutdown and all that. But compare this to the number, the numbers on manga, and I've talked about this before, but it's it's mind blowing. Demon Slayer uh, has had over sixty million copies. Holy, sixty million copies of the manga in circulation. Well, it's actually really good. Mostly just Japan, mm -hmm. a country that's much smaller than America. 
It's it's just very good. <laughs> so, it is. We're going to talk about that. that. Being good and selling because you're good, not because you're trying to shove agendas down everybody's throats. We're going to talk about that because we just, um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. We did another video. We're recording several videos back to back, so I'm not sure what order they're going to be in yet. But we talked about the uh, Anime Expo Light, and they did announce that the Demon Slayer movie is coming to the States. Uh, if, you, if you haven't watched Demon Slayer yet, it is hands down one of the best anime I've seen in God a long, long, mm -hmm. long, long time. It's so good. And a big part of the appeal is that the characters have to work. Right. They have to work for it. And even when you think that they're like, you know, getting more powered up and it turns out that that's just like a little hill next to the actual mountain. They right. Have to, and then after they get on top of one mountain, you know, there's going to be another. I mean, that's how that's how the best stories out there are like that. Yeah. So, um. But yeah, the, the manga is selling like crazy. It's selling like crazy. Now we're a little slow in the uptake here, but same with you know My Hero Academia. Uh, you know, Deku, he, he does get the mantle. You know, and I think it's sort of, I have to wonder if this wasn't intentional that they're showing kind of the contrast between the Japanese Superhero. superheroes and the American superheroes where you've got, you know, uh, All Might, who is basically an American superhero trope you know, he's like a Superman or Captain America, whatever, and and he's gonna pass on the mantle, but it's too much power for Deku, and he has to work at even just being able to contain. And we're talking the power. like massive body injury every time oh, he yeah. tries to use it till he can be strong enough. And and the one thing I thought was cool about that was even when he was given the mantle, he was originally told no. He, yeah. he couldn't you couldn't just you couldn't you you had to be born with the, the quirks, you couldn't be given them. Mm -hmm. And he was told no until he he showed extreme bravery and on without any powers and then then it was like okay this person's worthy of you know you having the powers because they'll be they'll be courageous without them yeah so you know they still didn't just get it handed to them yeah and that that is part of japanese culture and it, it's and, well, and some of the characters that do have it handed to them and they're really powerful because they're they're dicks yeah they are you dicks. know so i mean they make sure they put that across they get that point across too or they use it for evil well as of last year as of last october 24 million copies 24 millions. Million. Then we're talking U.S. You'd be lucky if you sold 24,000. That's right. In, in a huge country like the U.S., 24 million copies, but still Demon Slayer's got twice as many. Yeah, and Gem was supposed to be a huge success at under 30,000. Oh, that was shipped. Someone pointed out in the comments that was shipped, not sold. Yeah. Um, and that was, you know, for, the, for issue one, that was like, look how successful it is. And then by the time Gem ended at IDW, it was 5,000 copies. Right. I mean, this is like, again, just to show you how absolutely pathetic pathetic the north american comic market is compared to manga like well, manga's exciting and and they try new things and they make up i mean everything's always based on something else but they try to make new stories they try to be different they try to if they can't make a story that's completely different they try something different visually um they're you know they like that's something about demon slayer if you watch it but they what they do with the patterns and stuff are is very mm -hmm. very very interesting you actually point that out to me and it, you're right so that it's exciting because no one's handed anything um if there is diversity it's done organically and they're just their stories first First, characters are first it's about good storytelling it's not about you know what lesson can i teach you because you're too stupid to get it because i say so because you're a dude you know it's like yeah. you know yeah it's well i mean i'm thinking just you know the legacy character we're seeing this in animation too like well you know we were talking about shira the new shira shira is a mantle Mm -hmm. yeah well but they tried to get that to, to, but she couldn't lift the sword she couldn't figure out how to use the sword because she's too stupid she was a trained soldier but she's she can't lift the sword she can't figure out how i mean to you could there's the other sword, ways yeah. you could have gone about it that one was kind of unbelievable <laughs> but anyway yeah but i mean this is this is becoming very very common in you know superhero stories and i think part of it is um just kind of this notion that uh you know certain certain characters have been power for a while should step aside because it fits the the ideologies of the writers like you know basically that socialist ideology of you should just you know give yeah i'm sorry share. but it's true it is this is socialist ideology it's like you're batman you're rich and you got gadgets that's that's not fair that's not fair. You should share Batman with the world. Well, here, yeah, you know, we see it any, with comic creators. How many articles have been written about why they deserve free health care, free this or free that? Why they, you know, how many people have we seen comments from that they want socialism so they can basically sit at home and draw comics all day and get paid for it? Even though they don't really have a job. We've yeah. seen it many, many times I on mean, like Twitter and stuff. Yeah, and this is the thing. And, and this, is, this is a difference, too. 
with manga versus American comics. American comics, it, it is sort of run. I, I know, like, uh, you know, I've watched uh, Zach's videos before, and he talks about American comics being run as a charity. And it kind of is. Yeah, kind of. Japan is freaking brutal. Shonen Jump, mm -hmm. like, you're, if your stuff does not perform, you're you're fired. Right. You're out the damn door. Because it's about it's about what works and, and making money, and it's it's about meritocracy as opposed to you know a charity. But this this uh, trope this seems to work for shonen manga, uh, where you've always got the young character that has to work his way up or her way up to being more and more and more and more powerful and eventually has to come into the hero role. They're not just handed the hero title. Mm -hmm. They have to come into themselves. And it works because that's frankly the way the world works. Well, I really like Shield Hero. For this oh, yeah, rising yeah. the show here for this reason because not only did he was he already given the shield which was like supposedly the weakest I think it's going to target the strongest but the weakest weapon mm -hmm. but they also had it working against him where he was falsely accused and they had everything taken away where all the other heroes had money and teams and everything else he had to go get his own team and that's where there's an issue because he had to go you know get the slave girl start and everything else but he had to do he he had to find other ways to to be able to to succeed and move forward and it was a hundred times harder for him than everybody else and it was he was cleaning up their messes because they're so arrogant yeah um and the way they handle things because well i'm the hero without thinking it through and thinking about collateral damage and he had to build it up from nothing and less than nothing in comparison and um but you know to, to hold his own with them and then saves their asses multiple times so you know kind of reminds me of hamilton he was a self-starter had to work harder you know, that's very, very capitalist uh, uh, mindset. Right, right. You have it? to, you um, have to, you know, you have to be scrappy and you have to have grit. Yeah. And um, grit used to be really, you know, important in American culture. It used to be even the stories of the past, you know, it was really, really important to have grit and to, to raise people with grit. Yeah, I mean, one of the most popular genres of literature for the longest time was the rags to riches story. Mm -hmm. And it was the same kind of a thing where you had a young protagonist maybe had everything working against them, but they were able to, you know, live the American dream. They were able to, you know, better themselves. They don't give up. They don't give up. And, you know, they go through a ton of shit. I mean, look, it's, you know, everybody goes through a ton of shit, you know, but they do go through a ton of shit and eventually get to the point where they're like a Rockefeller or some, some, that was the American dream. You can argue whether or not it actually happens that way. But um, yeah, I, I believe that, you know, kids today are learning from these fictional characters you know truth justice in the american way you're not even allowed to say that anymore no. for superman but that was you know kids in our generation and years before read these superhero characters and they were goals you were supposed to aspire to be like them kids today i have i have some hope because they're actually looking at demon slayer my hero academia and being like wow i can be a hero too but i'm gonna have to work that's right. You're gonna yeah. have to work at it. Yeah, and they know? and 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 the kids are watching those shows far more than they're watching, you know, uh, the shows that we can we see on Cartoon Network that yeah. are like, what the hell was that? Yeah, and, and it shows a difference in mindset. But this this uh, you know goes to the Japanese spirit. You know, this is this is Japanese culture rooted in clan or, or based hierarchy system. Every person has a rank in their family, community, and organization. Uh, everything is a meritocracy. It's a meritocracy, you know, and and um, I hate to say it, but it's like I almost feel like Japan and Japanese entertainment represents American ideals, classic American ideals better than we're we're doing. Right. Right now. And, and you know, and they said you said about in this article, it says about, you know, people have, are powerful or more gifted. But that's what I like about their stories, because some people are more powerful and gifted. Doesn't mean that the, the main hero can't, uh, you know, overcome or over, you know, surpass these people you know, by work. hard work. Right. Cause that's it. You know, I and think honor. Yeah. They also, they oftentimes show honor and, um, how, you know, there are, you know, right ways and wrong ways to do things. And there's always consequences for bad behavior. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, it is, that is very much, uh, you know, Japanese culture. And I think that that's something that we are lacking in the U S and it used to be, it used to be not that long ago that, uh, that was kind of the, the, the American ideal was you work hard. You know, you might not be dealt the same cards that, that somebody else has dealt, but you can, if you're, if you're willing to work hard and do what you got to do, you can get, you can rise above your station. Yeah. You could rise at least, you might not. And you know what? Some people might never make it, you know, all the way where they want to go, but you're going to be a hell of a lot further than you were when you started. You play the hand you're dealt. Everybody's dealt a, a different hand. 
And but the thing is, is it it you can actually be dealt a winning hand and still lose the game. Mm -hmm. And we see this where people have an amazing amount of potential that they piss it away. But then you've got other people that maybe they don't have as much natural potential or the circumstances. Or they don't have the them. opportunities or whatever. Right. They don't have the opportunities, but they actually rise above the people who ha were gifted with the better potential, you know, because that's it. Potential doesn't mean it's it's locked in. It means you've got potential. But if you piss it away, that's on you. You know, meanwhile, you can have people pass you who maybe don't have, maybe they don't draw as well as you do, maybe they don't sing as well as you do, but they're going to get further ahead because they've got the drive that you don't have. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I like that. I think that's that's that is very America to me, and it's this is how the Japanese think, and this is why I think their entertainment's resonating with uh, American youth mm -hmm. now, and you know, compare the sales even in the well, US. that, and I think the fact that they put story and character yeah. first. Yeah. Like, you know, you should. Yeah, right. Uh, but I think this is a big component. This is why shonen manga, I think, is is very popular. I mean, beyond that, you know, people look at the surface level that, you know, oh, look how cool the fights are and all that. It's like, no, really at the root of it, it's always young protagonists overcoming incredible odds, bettering themselves, fighting for friends and family. Yeah, trying to goal, make the world a better place. Trying to make uh, the world more, a better place. Often, not always, but usually. You know, and they usually are just, they have a good heart. That's one thing they always push, too, is they always have a good heart and they're kind. Yeah. They always push that a lot, too. And because that's something I believe in. I know you, you hear me rant, you think I'm some kind of like, rah, mean, nasty person. But um, as Neon can attest, it's like, I, you know, I think having heart and being kind is super important. Yeah, it is. It is. But just kind of a theory we've had about why American comics aren't aren't landing like they used to. Just real quick before we wrap it up. Uh, the Demon Slayer movie is coming. Uh, Mugen Train anime film is coming to North America. It was confirmed a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. which is good because we watch the anime, freaking love it. It is good. Demon Slayer, if you have not watched Demon Slayer, there is a reason why it's so effing popular. It's really good. And I'm waiting for it to be problematic. Oh, I'm sure it could be problematic. They'll always find a reason to make it problematic. Because they're going to be like, oh, Nezuko's got a gag in her mouth and she's in a box most of the time. It's They're silencing women. Right. She, she should have um, been the demon slayer, not him. He should have been the one in the box. Right, or you right. Know. But she's the motivator. Mm -hmm. uh, for him to to do what he does, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have become a demon slayer if it wasn't for Nezuko. But yeah, they don't have any specifics. But it did end on a cliffhanger, and I guess they're gonna continue. I'm with excited the movie. about that. So it's it's pretty pretty awesome. Uh, definitely uh, watch Demon Slayer again if you want good characterization. Uh, you want to be kicked in the feels, and you want some just awesome action, and you want to see what it takes to be an actual hero. Uh, watch Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. It's it's an amazing, amazing anime, and I think I'm going to probably start reading the manga too. It's really good because it is like way further ahead. But yeah, it's and it's also awesome. uh, Rising of Shield Hero is another one. Rising of Shield really recommend. Really yeah, uh, again, same kind of thing. It's the you have to work at being a hero. Heck, even Sailor Moon, they did that. You know, yeah. she wasn't just good at it because she was Sailor Moon. She didn't even know she was the Moon Princess. You know, you had she had. To, it, I'm thinking of all the great ones, and it's always like that. Yeah, and then compare it to how just in the last couple of years they they handle it with with uh, american characters and it's sad it's freaking mm -hmm. sad you know that's so, why they're kicking your ass that's why this is part of the reason they're kicking your ass it's a totally different uh, that's why they want to control it that's why they want to yeah. use their money to try to control what comes out now and, and you know have the stories their way there's a reason we can't tell people to work harder because that might make people who can't work harder feel bad that's right everybody's got to be equal. We got to go all Harrison Bergeron and we got to make sure everybody's equal. Nobody feels bad. Anybody can be a hero. Anybody can be a Jedi. That's right. Anybody can be a hero. You can just, you know, but it's just up to somebody else to just hand you the keys to the hero mobile mm -hmm. um, and you become a hero. And just take whatever name you want. Yeah, take whatever name you want. All right, there we go. Can we wrap this up now? Because I haven't eaten yet. We're going to wrap it up so Geeky can eat. We'll I'm talk hungry. to you guys later. All right, bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.